I moved to San Francisco for a five month stint. Even with my finite time here, and probably because of it, I collected friends here like nobody's business. You could say I was hungry for community because I knew this could be this great all you can eat buffet of delicious looking and friendly oh. people. <laughs> But you know how sometimes you pick up something in a buffet, you didn't even realize you want it, but then as you're biting into it, you're surprised that it just hits the spot? Well, I'd like to tell you about one such surprise friendship I picked up in my five-month buffet, a wholly unexpected friendship with my Chinatown family run laundry service. <laughs> Some background. Uh, my brother and I decided to try out renting our place on Airbnb for a time, and we took it very seriously. He vetted and welcomed our guests, and I was affectionately named CEO of Laundry, etc. For convenience sake, we splurged on taking the resulting mounds of bedding each week, two blocks down to the family-run wash and fold. Mind you, this is happening once, sometimes twice a week. I dropped them off with Jesse and picked them up. Jesse was the face of the wash and fold, and she certainly started to recognize my face week after week dropping off laundry so frequently. With all of these cycles of sheet cleaning, Jesse asked eventually, incredulously, how many rooms did we actually have? <laughs> Before asking outright if we were renting out a room. At first, I mumbled something about having uh, uh, lots of friends uh, staying with us each week. She looked skeptical, but I had developed this paranoia that she might know our landlady and might tattle on us. <laughs> I don't know who knows who in Chinatown. <laughs> Week after week, I tried to act as casual as one can, consistently and mysteriously dropping off large bags of laundry. <laughs> Sometime later, when we had piled up enough how are yous and have a nice days, Jessie asked again about whether we were renting a room in our place. She phrased her question in a way that made it pretty obvious she didn't buy my first brush off anyway. But by now, I was comfortable enough that I just messed up. Turned out, that she was interested in getting into the Airbnb world herself and proceeded to ask poodles of logistical questions to get a better sense of what she could get from the experience. And that was it. But notably from that conversation on, we talked more freely. We talked more freely, and I began to feel like a regular there at KY Cleaners, with the truth flying like a freshly laundered flag out in the open. <laughs> but remember I said family run? Well, little five-year-old daughter Kelly paid her dues too by reviewing math homework behind the counter. One day, while I waited for Jesse to locate my laundry bag with a massive cartoon owl, Kelly stood on a stool behind the counter and proceeded to tell me about her age and her older sister's age and her whole family's full names. I felt it was only right to reciprocate, but I could tell I was starting to lose her at Aziz and Sada. <laughs> so I shared a little fact that I thought might bump her interest back up. You know, I'm a little sister, like you. But I'm also a big sister. I might very well have blown her mind. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Jessie came back just then and couldn't begin to hide a smile at her little girl's face while she tried to work out what it could possibly mean. It was cute. Some days later, I was running to catch a bus. No, I mean like literally running down a San Francisco-sized hill. I was keeping an eye out to make sure I didn't mow anyone down when I noticed Jessie and Kelly making their way up Sacramento. Still running, I gave them a huge smile and waved as I rushed by. At the same time, though, I was doubtful that they'd recognize me so quickly. I was pleasantly wrong. This little moment of recognition made me happy. This little moment that didn't feel little to me. I didn't know how much I could appreciate that recognition, that mutual feeling of, you know, I see you. The one that feels all the more special when it comes out of the blue. Knowing I'd be an SF for a few short months, I hadn't banked on feeling connected this way, on getting attached. It wasn't immediate, and it wasn't obvious, but before I knew it, that Chinatown connection started to feel like one of my crowning achievements of my time here, a cherry on the top of an SF Sunday, maybe. I didn't expect it, but I'm leaving this table with belly and heart more full than I could have imagined. Thank you. <laughs>